हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर सुरेश ठाकुर योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर एंड टुडे वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जेई एडवांस 2022 एक्चुअली यू नो टू सॉल्व प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस इज अ स्टेपिंग स्टोन टुवर्ड्स योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर एनी एग्जाम इन एनी कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम इफ यू हैव प्रिपेयर्ड और इफ यू हैव सॉल्वड प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस होल हार्टेडली definitely you will have an edge to crack that particular exam so thinking that in mind i have started this series to solve previous year questions of je advance so i have started with the chapter solution so question is an aqueous solution is prepared by dissolving 0.1 mole of an ionic salt so what is given just note down in your notebook what is given number of moles of the solute and let us take it as n2 so 0.1 mole in an ionic of an ionic salt in 1.8 kg of water so weight of water is given that is 1.8 kg that means 1800 gram then temperature is mentioned as 35 degree celsius and salt remains 90% dissociated in the solution as the salt remains 90% dissociated in the solution what it means that there should be van t hoff factor okay means alpha is 90% percent. 90% percent means 0.9 value of alpha is degree of dissociation that is 0.9 then the vapor pressure of the solution is 59.724 mm of hg vapor pressure of pure water is given take it as p not 1 that is 60 mm of hg now we have to calculate the number of ions present per formula unit of the ionic salt we have to calculate the number of ions present so that means what we have to calculate we consider it as let us take it as x let x is the number of ions present per formula unit of the ionic salt now what is the formula used you know p not 1 minus ps upon p not 1 that is equal to mole fraction of the non volatile solute but here because the solute is dissociable means it ionized that's why we put i before x2 because this is the modified colligative property colligative there is an abnormality in colligative property why is it so because salt dissociates so it is i into x2 so this is the formula used so what we need p not 1 which is given ps which is given x2 not given but you know what is x2 x2 is number of moles of the solute divided by number of moles of the solute plus solvent and n2 is given to you 0.1 and n1 is w1 upon m1 and w1 means weight of the solvent is 1800 and molar mass of water is 18 so number of moles comes out to be 100 now let us calculate x2 so x2 is equal to 0.1 divided by 
100 plus 0 0.1. So see, you know, if we compare 100 with 0 0.1, to make the calculation simple, we can take it as 0 0.1 divided by 100 because 100.1 that makes the calculation difficult. So better to take it like this because 0 0.1 is very, very less than 100. Okay. Now come to the next part, you know, I for dissociation, what is the relation? Alpha is equal to I minus 1 upon N minus 1. Now here instead of N we have taken as X. So take it as N. Let us take it as N. N is the number of ions present per formula unit of the ionic salt. So this is the formula. Take it like this. So I becomes 1 plus N minus 1 alpha and alpha we have. So it is 1 plus N minus 1 into 0 0.9. So it becomes 1 plus 0 0.9 N minus 0 0.9. So it is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 N. So in this way N we have to calculate. Now what is P naught? It is 60. PS 59.724 divided by P naught 160.000 and that is equal to I 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 N into X2 that is 0 0.1 upon 100 right. So 60 minus 59.724. It becomes 0 0.672 0 0.276 divided by take it as 60 only 60.000 means 60. So it is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 n into 0 0.1 upon 100. So, takes 100 on this side, 0 0.1 in the denominator, 100 in the numerator. So, it becomes 0 0.276 into 100 divided by 60 into 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 n. So, it is 27.6 divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 n. So, you know 6 for the 24, 3 to 36 means 6, 6 ja 36 that is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 n. So, 0 0.9 n is equal to 4.6 minus 0 0.1. So, 4.6 minus 0 0.1 is 4.5. So, n becomes 4.5 upon 0 0.9 means 9 5 is 45. So, that means n becomes 5. So, what it means? Number of ions produced by or furnished by one formula unit of ionic salt is equal to 5. That's it. So, this is the answer of the question. How to proceed? Just note down and how to make the calculation simple, right? If I solve it here, it is difficult, but I got these things here and 27.6 divided by 6, it is easier to us and then 4.6 minus 0 0.1, so it becomes 9 5s of 45. So, keep in mind the 
question asked in the exam are such to make the calculation handy. Calculations are not difficult at all, but our method makes them difficult. So, stick to the proper method, practice hard and you will be successful. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. Happy learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.